آدم ساندلر یکی از معروف ترین کمدین ها ایشون رو انتخاب کرده بود برای این فیلم خانم تیا لیونی هم توی این فیلم نقش داره فیلم اسم انگلیش یه فیلمیه که طبق روال کارهای آی ارم سندلر نمیره جلو کمدی نیست به اون صورت قراره که یه جورای کمدی باشه ولی بیشتر خیلی یه جورایی هم بعضی وقتا میگن که خیلی میره طرف دراما او بینی From the director of As Good As It Gets. It was a departure from your usual, very amazingly funny comedy. Thanks, man. Uh, it's different than my other movies, uh, no doubt about it. Uh, me and my friends didn't work on this. It was all about Jim Brooks, and he he made every decision and every every nuance, every everything is all about Jim. And I, I was psyched to try to do the best I could for the guy. Did this uh, film in, in your acting process? Did it? sort of contribute to your versatility as an actor and are you willing to take on more versatile roles such as this in the future? I think I, I would try anything I think I could I could handle, you know. There's this this part I read it. It was about a de decent guy and I grew up with that in my family. My father was a great man and my brother and my uncle and sisters, mother, all good. I got a good family so I just got to play a nice decent person and so that came in. Well, it's good. We'll do. Oh. Uh, you think you're at some crossroads? You are. You are. I, I think what what was the most uh, exciting and exasperating and fun and uh, and trying about making this movie is that it's a comedy. But in order to get to that comedy and have it be maybe pitch perfect, we've. We really shot a drama, and it was very intense work. And Adam and I worked very hard. دوستان از زبیننده، امیدواریم که لذت برده باشین از اینترویو هامون، مصاحبه هامون از روی رد کارپت، فیلمی تحت عنوان اسپانگلیش که گفتم انگلیسی و اسپانیش رو قاطی بکنین، انگلیش و اسپانیش رو قاطی بکنین میشه اسپانگلیش. ازتون خدافزی میکنم و تا هفته دیگه دوستان میسپرم تون به خدای بزرگ. خدا حافظ. Obviously, you're here with your lovely date. But no, actually, not, not, it's actually not my. I like this. I wish you were my date, but she's actually my best friend's daughter. So oh. I said, come tonight and so on. So you know, I said, well, my best friend's daughter. I said, why do you have to look like this? I've known her since she was six. I, know, I haven't seen her in a couple of years. She showed up. I said, why do you have to look like this? And I'm the only guy in the world who's not eligible. Well, it was an offer she couldn't refuse. Not, Walk on the red carpet with James. I my know, goodness. It's, it's so depressing, honestly. I'm, I'm, I'm in a horrible mood now because of this. You've ruined my night. <laughs> Listen, okay. You're a genius. Your IQ is high. You're a member of Mensa. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so far so good. Okay, and uh, let's get you a brainy question before we ask you a little bit more okay. Hollywoody. Okay. Um, geopolitically, this script was quite controversial to some extent. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. You know, and it's it's intended to move yeah. to some extent, move right. some minds, make some decisions, whatever, well, change yeah. perceptions. Tell me about it. Well, what's great about it is you think it's going to be a teen comedy, which it most decidedly is not. It's screamingly funny, but it's about. The idea that three girls get together and decide they want to do something for their lives and get a little vengeance, uh, seek a little vengeance against somebody they don't like, so they sue their teacher for sexual harassment, which probably didn't happen, but we're not sure throughout the film, and I won't give you the answer on it and so on. But, but it could happen. But it's one of those things about it's one of those things of, of how teenage girls can use sexuality now in a world where that's just being promoted everywhere, the internet, television, etc., etc., and and they can now see it as a weapon. And use it in a way that's probably never been used quite at that age before, and, and about a society that allows people's lives to be destroyed based on sort of political correctness. Is this experience any any similar to you dealing with mother-in-law, in general, any mother-in-laws? Um, no, thank God. No, this is this is quite hopefully very rare experience for anybody. Although the person who did write the script, the first girl Anya, said that she did have a. A similar experience, and that's why she wrote the script. So, I guess it's out there. I haven't had it. Though. You're, you've, you're a legendary actor. What rules are you looking for these days? Whatever I can find. Whatever. Sometimes you, the things come around the corner surprise you better than things you plan. We're gonna do a big western coming up. Two part man. I love western. I love the boots. Tell me about quickly. Northern Argentina. Uh, what do you got coming up? Anything else that you're working with uh, this western I'm gonna do, and then I'm doing Lucky You with. Uh, Drew Barrymore, Eric Bann, and uh, Curtis Hanson directed a wonderful film on poker, We're shooting in Vegas and here. You're a legend. Tell me about the experience, bro. Tell me about the experience. The experience? About, you know, just being in the film. Did you get to be unleashed and free? Fun. It was great. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Okay, did the yeah. director give you a lot of space? Where the you director can... yelled at me constantly and, and brought me to tears on, on set. 
Almost and you showed him how it was? I showed him how it was. You set him straight? Yeah, I did. Practice with a dirty car. Did you have to go about uh, the whole getting the role bit through the regular process of Hollywood? Were you chosen for the role? I mean, did you well, have to audition no, for it? Did no. you have to read? They, they had two people in mind. For Will's father, they had Robert Duvall in mind. Okay. Then they, 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 were trying, they were trying to figure out who to get for play Mike Ditka. <laughs> so they said, why don't we get Mike Dicta? So they called and they asked, and I said, here, how long will it take? And they said, it'll take this long. I said, you pay me this much, and I'll do it. And there wasn't anything but that. I'll do it. I did it. Now, once I got out there, I really enjoyed it. I had fun. But I really had no idea what I was getting into. And I had no idea in, in when I started that my part would be that big of a film anyway. Right.